Hello, in today's video, we're going to look at how we can split our Terraform code into multiple files. So let's get started. For today's use case, we have chosen the AWS Kubernetes cluster directly from the templates catalog that you can use as well. Here, the first thing that we're going to do is to make sure that our code is valid. To do so, we simply need to do a Terraform plan. Here, Brainboard will actually give us the Terraform Inits and do the Terraform state log. Everything should be green, so it means that the infrastructure and the code are ready to be deployed in our AWS account. And like you see, everything is green, so it is ready to be deployed. Here, we are going to look at all the files that we have on Brainboard. So we have the main.tf, the outputs, the providers, the Terraform TVARs, the variables, and the locals. So now we can start splitting our resources and our code into multiple files. And we are going to start with the AWS VPC. To do so, we simply need to choose a name. Let's say AWS VPC. And then we save. Here, the file has been created. We have the AWS VPC file here. We can modify the configuration of this resource. To do so, we have the documentation to help us modify the configuration of the VPC. And here we have the resource name, so the mandatory field that we need to fill, the advanced configuration with the tags, the meta arguments with the count depends on and for each, and then the exported attributes. Now imagine that we would like to modify the name of this resource, VPC, for example, one. Is, and now we need to save it. Here we go back to this file and like you see, it has been modified, VPC1. Now we are going to do the same thing with the AWS security group. Here we say AWS security group and then we save it. And like you see, the file has been already created. AWS security group, and we can modify it as well. Now we are going to do the same thing with the ability zone. So here is US East one, and then we save. Here, the file has been created, US East one, with the subnet to line one, but we can modify. If we want to modify it, simply need to open the ID card again. Here, subnet, let's say subnet one, then we save it. Here we go back to the US East one, and it has been already modified here. AWS subnet, subnet one. Then, now we are going to do the same thing with the US East 2. We save it, and the file is created, US East 2. So here, we saw how to split our Terraform code into multiple files for us to have more flexibility when you, we need to make changes to our code. I hope this video has been useful for you. And if you have any questions, I will be happy to help you. Have a great day.